So we're going to recreate this document using the ruler and tab stops at the top. Alrighty, so we've got a document that looks something like this and we're going to start by writing the headings in. We're going to start with film. Before we even put in director and release date, what we want to do is we want to put in some centered tab stops. So go up to our ruler at the top here. If you don't have the ruler, go to view and show ruler. So we're going to go to about, let's say, maybe eight. We'll add a center tab stop. And we're going to go also over to about maybe 13 and a half. Just guessing based on where I would like it. Adding another centered tab stop. And they look like these little diamonds. So press the tab key and we can type in our next heading. And tab again and our next heading. Might even move that over a little bit. Might even bring that this way a little bit. Yeah, so let's go 14 and a half and seven. Enter. So before you do the next part of the video, make sure you hit enter at least once on the keyboard before you go and delete any of the next tab stops. Now we don't want to keep using those centered tab stops. So I'm just going to click on those and drag them into the document like that. Now for the next section, we want a tab stop that has the writing going this way and the, on this side, the writing going this way. We want a tab stop at around about maybe five and a half and that's going to be a left tab stop and the next one over here we want to be a right tab stop so we're going to put that at about 16 and a half right tab stop now notice if I click back on this line it goes back to those centered tab stops and I go back to the new line we'll go down a line and we'll type in our first film press the tab key tab key and it goes all the way over this way and watch what the writing does it comes backwards now, I don't really like the spacing of that so I'm going to change things around a bit so I'm going to go back to this heading here this line here and I'm going to move my centered tab stop over to about eight and a half now and maybe put that release date one a little bit further over as well and the next line I'm going to move that one to about maybe six and a half maybe even seven. So if I hit enter, that is now going to duplicate that tab onto the next line of text. And then I just fill it all in using the tab key to jump between the columns. So you hit the tab key on the keyboard, takes us to that next tab stop, which is lined up there. And because this is a left tab stop, the writing goes from left to right. And because this one is a right tab stop, the writing goes from right to left. And just to finish things off, we're going to make sure that our headings are bold. Command B or Control B on the keyboard. Or you can just use the B button there for bold. And let's make our writing just a little bit bigger for the heading. 12 fonts fine for that. That looks pretty good. Now I hope that made sense. If it didn't, go back to the parts that didn't make sense and have a look again. Watch very carefully how I do it. Alright, hope that was great. Thanks for watching. Bye.